hiding thing ever so why don't you come out and look at it how you can sit there with that mud and stuff all over your face when you could be seeing this i can't understand so what do you see a lot of machinery with water dripping all over it if i ever see those locks again i'll scream <laughs> Hello. Hey, you, I said hello. So you weren't speaking to me by any chance? No, on purpose. You know, soldiers on sentry duty aren't supposed to talk. What can they do to me? They can fire me. All right, I've already quit. I'm all washed up with the Army. This is my last day. Say, that's an idea. We ought to celebrate. Yeah, the Army will probably do the celebrating. Say, is the rest of you as beautiful as your face? No, I weigh 200 pounds and I, and I don't wear shoes. <laughs> perfect. What should we do tonight? How about meeting me on the dock under the moon? But if there isn't a moon... I'll meet you under the dock. No kidding, how about you and me going places tonight when your boat gets in? Okay? No kidding, how about you scrambling so I can see some of the scenery down here? I am the scenery down here. I'm Skid Johnson, the one-man army. Ask anybody. It's been delightful, Mr. Johnson. I go away, you bother me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey, I didn't think you'd admit it. I'll meet you on the dock at Balboa. Hey, I'll be wearing my civvies and I'll wear a carnation on my buttonhole so you know me. I wouldn't know you if you wore a rose behind your ear. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee, isn't it wonderful? I love you. It's like going down the elevator. It's wonderful. I guess it is the first time. Don't the tropics always smell like this? Look, Paul! Oh, I forgot all about it. I'll take it down quick. Oh, all you had to do was to turn off the juice as soon as the time was up. Oh, I thought you could do that, for gosh sake. Oh, <laughs> I must have been asleep. The tropics make me so languorous. Well, how does it look? Oh, I'm just stucky. <laughs> what have you done to her? It's the tropics. They always do that to her. Oh, the tropics, right? <laughs> Oh, is something the matter? No, 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 no. You don't know everything's quite all right. Quite all right, yes, I know you will, yes. Uh, you girls will both come to my cabin just as soon as you've finished. Uh, oh. I suspected it. I suspected it from the very first day. You're not a beauty operator at all. Are you? No, that's where you've got me. How dare you recommend her to me? Oh, now, look, boss, she's a friend of mine. She's broke. She's hitchhiking her way to California. Hmm. Did she have to hitchhike on my customer's faces? Well, it was the only thing we could think of. You didn't want her to sing or anything now, did you? Certainly not. Why should I want her to sing? <clears throat> uh, do you sing? Yes, but not very good. Well, it's the only thing she does know. But there's a guy, see, in, in California who don't care if she don't know anything. He wants to marry her. <laughs> He's a, a, a cow baron or something. He's richer than Lucifer. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Lucifer wasn't rich. Oh, what was he? Well, he was, um, he, uh, what was he? Proud. Proud, proud. There, see, I told you. Don't try to change the subject. Now, if this Lucifer was so, I mean, if this man was so proud, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Rich, uh, why doesn't he send you your fare? Oh, he doesn't even know I'm coming. Uh, I thought you said he was going to marry her. No, I didn't. I said he wanted to marry her. Oh, pardon me, wanted to. Uh, and on that account, Maggie figured there must be something wrong with him. Yes, okay. So she's going out to look the situation well over before getting into anything. You see, she doesn't know him very well. Well, but he's known me for three years, but it's, it's so hard to explain. You see, if Maggie were on the stage, she'd be a stage door Johnny. Oh, but, of course. She, but she works in nightclubs, so we don't know what to call him. Every time get a ring, he's just the same. Oh, he's yeah. just crazy yeah. about her. You're just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just crazy. Crazy, well, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> Now you got a bargain with these guys, see? I'll start on this line and you start on that one. They'll all ask three dollars, but if you find one, it'll take two yell for them. Well, I hope so for three dollars. Oh, no. That's a two dollar an hour. How much? Two dollar an hour. No, no, that's two dollar an hour. Much, that's uh, lady, you take my car. Round trip, Panama City, one dollar. How much? One dollar. You wait there. I'll get a girlfriend. What you say?
Among most notable public building of Panama is Palacio del Presidente. It is built on the same site it was occupied by official residents of kings of Spain during colonial epics. Uh, on ground floor is Moorish courtyard in the center of which are water fountains in which may be seen swimming water chicken of native species. Ducks to you. Yeah, well, ducks to you too. This isn't a palace, it's a cathedral. Must be wrong street. Must be wrong guidebook too. Listen, wise guy, you can come out from behind that hat now. <laughs> What's the matter with the hat? You got a rose behind my ear, too. I still don't know you. Say, you know you're an awful liar. You do wear shoes and you got the prettiest... Hey, you know this guy. No, and we're tired of playing. You can stop this car right now. Now, <laughs> oh, come on, be a sport. I told you I was just mustered out of the army today. I thought it'd be fun for the four of us to celebrate. Who's the four? Harry. He owns the car. We're not interested. Speak for yourself. Say, I don't know what you got to be sore about. When you hired this heap, you thought you had a native guy. So it turns out that instead of that, you got a fine, upstanding, clean-limbed American lad and his friend. Here's where he lives. Harry, I mean. You'll like Harry. And instead of showing you a lot of buildings and statues and stuff, we'll show you the real town. <laughs> You're getting a couple of guys for nothing and you're new kicking. Come on, be good guys. We'll, we'll drive around. I'll make my usual cracks. If you laugh, I'll think I'm good. If you don't, I'll think you're dumb. What do we waste? Two hours. What's two hours? I've never heard anybody talk so much in my life. Have you ever tried to sell anything? Sure. Right now. Me. You know, if you had something good to sell, you'd be really wonderful. Harry puts everything he's got into his piano playing. Everything? Girls, prepare yourselves. You're about to meet Harry Rankin, the hottest piano player in Panama. Well, no wonder he's hot in that overcoat. Well, I'm just recovering from an attack of chills and fever. Would you have a quinine tablet? The tropics, you know. Yeah, I know it. Do you know it? Yes, I really think you should have one. If you're for me, I've already got my pill. Well, um, Harry, this is... Uh, Ella. Ella, and that's... Uh, Marguerite. Yes, Maggie. Marguerite. How do you do? I'm very glad to know both of you. Hello. You should be glad to know anyone. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, let's go. Come on, front seat, Maggie. No, you better climb over that door. It doesn't work. Oh, allow me. Thank you. This is a real Panamanian joint. Tourists don't get out here very much. Oh, it's quite smelly. Quite smelly. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. I think I ought to have. Oysters. Oysters. Say, you better move over here closer to me. Why? Well, you know where you are, don't you? Well? You're in the tropics. Well, I know that, silly. And it's night. Oh, it isn't either. Well, it'll be night in a minute. Hey, what are you getting at? You? Oh, stop it. If you're going to act like that, we won't have any fun at all. Well, you know, most girls like a lot of junk like this. I can be myself then, huh? Oh, I wouldn't go that far if I were you. So you're pretty fast with the answers, aren't you? No, they just seem fast. You see, you've been down here quite a little while, and the tropics kind of slow you down. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you want the rest of your oysters? I don't want this one. down here. I feel different. I feel, well, like a warm breeze is blowing on you all the time. There is. Oh, I don't mean like that. I mean I feel inside that, uh, you know, sleepy, like in front of the fireplace, you know. Yeah, I know. The trouble is, the longer you're down here, the oftener you get that fireplace feeling. Of course, that's bad. You couldn't amount to much hanging around a fireplace, could you? Oh, well, that music's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I won't be hearing that kind of music after the night. You leaving Panama? Yeah, I'm going to New York. I hope you have more luck in New York than I had. No, I got nothing to worry about. If I don't hear something, I can always go back in the army.
Say, you married? No, do I look like the marrying kind? Yeah. <laughs> well, I am. Well, I'm not, so don't give me ideas. <laughs> pretty silly if I didn't kiss you, wouldn't it? Well, it'd be pretty silly if you did, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. We won't be seeing each other again. And it wouldn't make much difference one way or the other. Well, then why do we? What can we lose? Well, what can we gain? So you make a lot of fuss about unimportant things. <laughs> Look at those stars. They've been up there millions you of years. You've that before. Millions of people have kissed each other. So what difference does one more make? Is that the argument? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't make any difference at all. Feel better? Let's go. Well, where are we going? Down the pavilion to get a drink. Oh, oh wait a minute, my, my bag. Why are you so serious? Look at those stars. You know they've been up there for millions of years. <laughs> okay, sister, you're out. With. What's the matter? Don't you like trumpet music? No, nobody likes trumpet music. Say what the man say. Uh, those platters punches. Mm -hmm. I think they do. Look, somebody might like it, but you couldn't be very bright and like trumpet music. Well, maybe you're right. I like it. You do? Well, what you like about it, I can't possibly imagine. It's just noise. You blow a lot of air into a tin horn and it comes out rat tat tat tat. Oh, it's awful. What's the matter? Don't you like music? Music? Of course I like music, but that isn't music. It's a... Well, of course I like music. Vi violins, that's what I like. Violins. Soft, sweet, and romance. There's no romance in a trumpet. Romance in a trumpet? Eh! What you mean is you don't like trumpets. I don't like trumpets. Yeah, he is a little fresh. Well, why don't you sock him or something? No, I can't. You've got your hair on. Well, what does that have to do with it? That's an old South American custom. It means you dance with anybody. Muy sensiblemente, se quitó el sombrero para mí. No hay motivo ahora para que me rehuse. Rehuso que se me rehuse. Now, listen, Charlie, you've got this girl all wrong. Now, scram. No se entrometa, señor. O me veré obligado a olvidar que soy un caballero. La señorita va conmigo. I said get out of here, scram. Vamos. Look. 
She got her hat on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got my hat on. Hat? Yeah, hat. Chapeau, sombrero. Oh, sombrero. Sombrero. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I got here. Oh, hello. Mm. Scared it. I wish you'd let me help. Puede que para algunos el nombre de Panamá sea un símbolo de placer. Eso hasta cierto punto, porque en otro sentido significa mucho más. Por lo tanto, imposible tolerar escándalos como los que ustedes han cometido. En consecuencia, este tribunal los condena a una multa de 50 pesos. He say you pay fine fifty dollars. Dad, maybe it's my boat. Yes, oiga, oiga, but hombre, no le decir, pero, pero dónde va? No, it's scared. Vamos, friends of mine. Oh, scared! My boat is out in the bay. What do I do, scared? We gotta get out of here. Maybe we can still go. Yeah, no, 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 we gotta go. No, 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 no. Don't you understand? My boat, lady, my boat. Boat? Yeah, boat. Boat, boat. I've got the lock. The yeah. uh, get it, boat. Eh? No comprendo qué es lo que ustedes quieren demostrar. You mean boat? Yeah, boat. Mm. What's the word? Boat. Este tribunal los condena a una multa de 60 pesos. He say you pay fine 60 dollars. Oh. He sido paciente y tolerante, pero hasta la paciencia de un juez tiene sus límites. Oh, shut up. Ese tribunal los condena a 150 pesos de multa. He say you pay fine 150 dollars. Maybe you better keep quiet. Now can I help? No. You, you wouldn't settle for the 60, would you? Uh, Woody? There's a hundred, hundred and ten, ten, hundred and twelve, that was your travel money, hundred and twelve, hundred and twenty-seven, hundred and twenty-eight, hundred and twenty-eight fifty, hundred and twenty-eight fifty-two. Now? Yeah, now. No, no, vamos. No dinero. Well, now what? Well, first we'll dig up a hotel and well, then... what good will that do? I mean, I haven't any money, have I? And, and no clothes or anything. They wouldn't take me in, would they? I yeah, never thought of that. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. If I might make a suggestion, you're perfectly welcome to live with me. Huh? Oh, Skid lives there, too. Well, I suppose that makes it all right. Don't worry, I wouldn't let you stay there anyway. Well, then where will I stay? I'm sure you'd find it very comfortable. Skid and I can sleep in the parlor and you can have the bedroom. There's a key to the door and everything. If you feel that you need it. Well, I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. Very nice. I lost my key about a month ago. Well, here's where we live. Just you and Skid? Oh, Skid just moved in last night. I've been living here alone for three months now. You mean you've done this all by yourself in three months? 
The bedroom's very nice, too. There's the kitchen. I think it needs a little tidying up, though. If it's anything like this, it certainly will. Is something wrong? <laughs> you and Skip bring the bed out. I'll make breakfast, and we'll clean this place up. Oh, let's get some sleep first. You can't sleep in this mess. Well, we have. Oh, dear. This hasn't been moved since I first came here. Where is the water? In the pump. What? In the pump. Oh. 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 The pump. Oh, look, I found a shoe that's been missing for about three weeks. Up, up, make it. No, it doesn't go. Take the net off. Thank you very much. It's going to be awfully weak. It's going to be what? Weak, the coffee! Oh, it's going to be weak. Let's try it. Let's try it this way. I'm talking about the bed. Oh, do you want it toasted? Do I want what toasted? The bread here. What do you think I meant? Oh, she means the bread. Oh, the bread. There isn't any. I fed the rest of it to the pigeons this morning. Oh, so that's what you've had living around here with you. What'd she say? What'd you say? I said it would be a nice touch to have a couple of goats around here, too, don't you think? <laughs> say, what do you suppose she wants with a couple of goats? Get old. <clears throat> Tip your end up a little. What? Tip your end up a little. You don't need to yell at me. I'm right here, you know. How do you turn the gas on? There isn't any gas. Well, then how do you cook? You build a fire in the stove with wood. Yeah. Hey, look. We're getting no place fast with this thing. Say, I have an idea. Just sit down quietly and figure this thing out. There must be a simple answer to it somehow. You eat out a lot, and that certainly isn't good for you. No wonder Harry's sick. We we'll have to buy a lot of things to do, you know, staples and things. And oh, well, maybe I did the wrong thing. Skinner, Skinner, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, I think. Yes, I think it's. Well, I. Well, never mind. I'll do it myself. Oh, John. Wait a minute. I've certainly put you in a lovely spot, haven't I? Well, with me, it's just temporary, you know, just so my boat comes through again. What are you going to do? Oh, don't worry about me. I can always go back in the Army. The Army? What do you want me to do, go native? No, just take that junk out and burn it up. What are you saving beer caps for? Hey, there's a lottery ticket I almost won, huh? The Army. Always the Army. No ambition at all. Skid. Huh? You can do something with it. With what? It's a crime to hide a talent like you've got under an army blanket. You're the best trumpet player I ever heard. I thought you said you didn't like trumpet music. Well, I didn't, and I still don't, but I like it when you play it. I don't know what you do to it, something. Why don't you try making a living with it? You mean go to work? Yes. Yeah. I hate to bring it up, but Skid can go to work over in Murphy. Oh, that's wonderful. Did she really offer you a job? Well, why don't no. you take it? Would you like what? to have your own trumpet? Oh, of course you couldn't get a job in an orchestra unless you had your own horn. Oh, but Skid's got a horn. Well, you don't have to tell the whole world about oh, it, do you? Oh, horn, you might like working. You might like it better than the army. You couldn't tell till you try it. I can tell now. Skid? I 
You're not throwing me at all, are you? Throwing what? Well, uh, for my betting on him. Betting on him? Yeah, you see, uh, you know, he's a professional now, and, and uh, uh, well, uh, he was going swell until, until his knees kind of buckled under him, and, and then he, he lost, and I, I lost the money. What money? You didn't... Skid Johnson, where's your trumpet? Well, I, I pawned it. But, but I still got my mouthpiece. I can sort of keep my lip up on it, and, <laughs> you know... Claudian. Hey, that ought to do it. I just figured what's the use of working a whole week for what you can win in a couple of minutes. Nice figuring. I got just the right thing for him. What's that? Claudian. Claudian? You're not going to put Claudian on a chicken, well, Harry. It's the best thing for scratches. I always use it myself. Well, say I didn't warn you. Well, this will fix him right up. Oh, oh, oh. Butch, come here. Butch, hey. Here, here. Nice hand. Now, go away. Go away. Go away, Hatton. Of course, I'm not the type to tell you I am. Go ahead, Henry. Go away. 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 You can't get the job without the trumpet, and you can't get the trumpet without the five dollars. But I'm too young to die. All right, you wait here, I'll get it. No, no, no. No girl has to run interference from me. Oh, well, listen, Skid, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell somebody else than it is yourself, isn't it? I mean, it'd be easier for you to tell somebody I'm good than you're good, wouldn't it? Oh, would it? You wait here, I'll be out in a minute. You'll be out quicker than that. But, Mrs. Murphy, I didn't ask for a job for myself. Oh, well, let it go then. But you couldn't work in a better place. And you're the type I like around here. You wouldn't have to do much, sing a little, dance a little, and talk to the customers. I think you're making a big mistake, but let it go. I ain't begging you. But it's Skid that has Skid's the Skid's got a talent for making more trouble than any ten guys in Panama. I heard what he'd done at the Tayara last night. They got a close for a week for repairs. He ain't gonna bust up my joint. Oh, it's that. Yeah, that. Well, I... Oh, I, I, I wish you'd been there last night. It was really beautiful. It must have been. There ain't stick of furniture left in the place. Oh, Skid feels awful about everything. You know. Young man just out of the army with responsibilities and everything. It's hard. Skid Johnson never had a responsibility in his life. Well, he's got me. Well, you can't be such a serious proposition. You're kind of new in Skid's life, ain't you? New? Well, I should say not. Why, Skid and I have known each other ever since since childhood. He sent for me to come down just as soon as he got out of the army. Oh, I wouldn't marry him as long as he was in the army. Would you? No. Oh, so you could see how he'd feel on his honeymoon with his wife working and him broke without a job. Mm, yeah. Well, and besides, we do a swell number together. Skid and I have always worked together. Well, not in the army, of course. But... Oh, don't you see? I can see one thing. Kid's got a lot more sense than I give him credit for. Oh, Hello. 
You remember me? Well, hello. You sure have been in there long enough. What? For Pete's sake, how did you do it? Well, well, she just understood. You're crazy. She's really a wonderful woman, Skid. Murphy? Oh, underneath that bark and cigar smoke, she's a woman, and all women are romantic. Murphy, romantic? The minute she found out we'd just been married, she went positively dewy-eyed. The minute she found out what? Kid, listen, don't be mad because I told her we were married. Married? Well, you cared very much. She got you a job, and she even said I could do something or other for a couple of weeks, and by that time, my boat will be back, and if I go away, don't get sore. I'm not sore. Sore? I'm not sore at all. <laughs> Got new blonde working for you. Yeah? Well, she ain't army ration, so relax. Seriously, hey? Mm. What was on, senor? Cinco. I'll see you for a good Murphy told me you were working here. I. Uh, Mag, uh, Al Alvarez, this is Miss King. How do you do? Oh, Miss King. Why, I thought you were the new Mrs. Johnson I've been hearing so much about. I am. Really? Yes. Gee, Skid, I thought I knew you awfully well. I didn't think you were the marrying kind. But I still don't. Girl, I used to know. Used to know? Yeah, used to know. But listen, unless you want us both to lose our jobs, you better introduce me as your wife. You know, we're supposed to be married. Yeah, but you're not my wife. I know, but I'm supposed to be. Nowadays, every dance academy exercises your whole anatomy, too. Come on, come on. You're supposed to be working, you know. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a lot of things. Wild fever that rages. Watch out, it's contagious. change your costume. Customer wants to meet you. Big coat hanger man from Cleveland. You get 25% for all the champagne they order and only 10% for the scotch. Person will vanish in you. Sense is reeling, you'll be revealing the vanish in you. Hey, Murphy, who is that girl? Anita Alvarez, why? You kid. Your condition, Panamania. I've got Panamania. Mr. Musselwhite, may I present Miss Johnson? Glad to meet you, Miss Johnson. Have a scotch and soda. In the tropics? Didn't you know it was poison to drink hard liquor so near the equator? Oh, champagne's the only thing. You mean to say everybody in the tropics drinks champagne? She's quite right, Mr. Musselwhite. Waiter. Gross of coat hangers, or they wouldn't get any at all. Are you listening? Yes, yes, I'm listening. Reeling, you'll be revealing the Spanish new, Spanish new. Thank you. 
say you shouldn't encourage those dumb guys like that. They're, they're liable to figure it wrong. Well, what possible difference could it make to you? No difference, no difference at all, but you got to remember we're supposed to be married. Yes, but we're not. For Murphy. You know you're longer on one side than the other? Yeah, he was born on the side of a hill. No, I think that's from stabbing my foot when I keep on the music. Go on, Skid, keep on playing. <laughs> Much at this time, allow me to introduce to you our newest convert of the fine art of trumpeting. Oh, sorry, I've been about that forever. I told you when you played it, it, it thrills me. <laughs> to the marrow of my bones, it chills me. Hey, there's a lyric. The trumpet thrills me to the marrow of my bones. It chills me. That's not bad. It's not good. Better than that school song I wrote, Fried On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Boy, I bet that was a hit. Yes, it was. Hey. Fried On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Here we took a break. La, la, la. RCM. Hey, wait a minute, Harry. Play that a little slower. Broadway yet. Anyway, he's under contract to me. Contracts can be broken, Murphy. Yeah, so can next. What do you mean by that, Craig? Well, yours ain't exactly made of rubber, is it? <laughs> You're leading with your chin, falling for a guy like Skid. Why? What's the matter with him? Everything. Uh, oh, I know he's sweet and he's lots of fun, but 
Those kind of shaky men. They don't stand up in an emergency. How do you know? Have you ever seen Skid have an emergency? I don't have to. They all run true to form. I used to think you had a lot of sense. But how you can give up that guy with that ranch in California for... I'm not kidding myself about Skid. I know he's not perfect. He's just a human guy that likes to have a lot of fun and has it. But that Skid is good enough for me. It's not half good enough for you. Say you were sick. Well, I don't think. Well, all right, say you were. You sent Skid for a doctor. Well, he's not for a doctor. Oh, sure, he'd go on the run, you bet. He'd get the best doctor in town. If he didn't pass a crap game on the way. Well, if he did, he'd win. Oh, what's the use? Fussing about. You didn't have anything to do with this. You don't have to be so personal about it. Skid ought to be here any minute. Well, he'd better hurry. I gotta get back to my boat. Oh, you know, Skiddy always has to take a few bows. <laughs> Say, how many of these things do you want? Just keep on working, Ella. So, Miss Ella, will you folks see for any people? No, why? Well, you're always going away on a boat. Yeah, I know. And I always dreamed of settling down on a chicken farm somewhere. I don't think that would work out very well. Why not? I don't know. Hens don't seem to like me. <laughs> Too bad Skid didn't come home. These are awfully good. He couldn't have gone to Tyara. They wouldn't let him in out there. Why should he come home if he wants to go out with his crowd? He doesn't owe us anything. He owes me a dollar and a half. I suppose he'll pay up, though. Yes, he'll pay his debt. But he'll never get in debt for anything but money. He'll never owe anybody any part of himself for his time. He can promise to give you what he can't give. He wants to stay free, and he lets you know it. Well, it's a nice way to be if you're built that way. It's a nice way to be. Yes, it is, if you're built that way. There's a little left. You want it? Oh, thank you. You know, I thought after meeting you, he'd change. Well, Skid always was a great hand for something new. Something wrong? Maggie. Have you seen Skid? Yeah, I saw him. He left here a couple of hours ago with that bunch of backslappers and Alvarez. Oh. Murphy, I think I ought to tell you. You know, Skid has a perfect right to do as he pleases. We're not married. We just told you that. Yeah. I kind of guessed that. You're in love with him. I guessed that, too. Yes, I'm in love with him. Murphy, what is it with Skid? Every once in a while I get the crazy idea he's in love with me. And every time that happens, he acts as if he's sore about it. I can't figure it. I can. You're good for him, see? And that's tough on a guy like Skid. Maggie, take my advice and clear out. Way out. about her, aren't you? Who, me? Oh, well, what'd you want to go out with me for? Because I had a date with her. That you makes a lot of sense. Sure, it makes sense. I was going for a doctor, see, and I passed a crap game on the way.
scared. Yeah? Still awake? Yeah, I'm still awake. Ella was telling me about a swell new job in New York. I was thinking of taking it. Now you're getting some sense. You should have done that weeks ago. Yes, yeah, suppose I should. Maggie. Maggie, aren't you going to ride me about not coming home? Maggie? Good night, Skip. See you down at the doctor. I hate to see folks pull out. So do I. Well, I hope you have a goodbye. Well, you don't have to say goodbye yet. I don't leave till the morning. No, I, I just rather say goodbye now. <laughs> goodbye, soldier. But look, Maggie, before you go, I just like to tell you something. I, I think you're swell. You, you got good sense and you're nice. You're not bad looking. I think I'm good looking. Yeah, that's right. It's a nice time to tell me. I know. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that... Well, I guess I'm the kind of guy Alice said I was. So... But look. Yeah, look, we, we could duck right out after our number tonight, and nobody'd even miss us. We, it doesn't take very long to get married, and we could be good back, and nobody'd even know we'd gone. Okay? Skip Johnson, are you sick? I don't know. My stomach feels awful funny. Now you see him, now you don't. That's why you don't bother me in the least. Well, Skid, all you have to do is just wait your turn. You're wonderful. You're really wonderful. You look lovely, too. I have your hair coming down on that side. Harvey, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too, Marguerite. Oh, you look fine. Of all places to run in. How did you know I was here? Oh, uh, some girl sent me a wire. Here it is. There. Oh, Ella. Yeah. 
She said you were stranded here on your way to me. But she shouldn't have told you that. Harvey, I... I oh, no, you, now you listen. I'm not kidding myself. I know you're not in love with me or you'd have married me a long time ago. But Harvey, you don't understand. Sure I, I do. I always have. But I'm so in love with you that, well, just having you around, that's enough for me, Marguerite. Well, Harvey... Come I... on, Megan. We, we haven't got much time. Well, oh, kid, I... this is Harold Harvey Howell. He's a very good friend of mine. Let's get you on. Oh, glad to know you. Glad to know you. Uh, we're on our way to get married. Married? Yeah, tonight. Maggie isn't taking any chances on waiting until tomorrow. She knows the guy's got to tell the truth on Washington's birthday. Say, why don't you come along? Harry's going. We need a couple of witnesses. And, well, he's, he's a panel player, and, well, Maggie knows you, and... Be... Kid! No, no, I'd... I'd like to, Marguerite. Oh, that's well. Well, come on, come on, Maggie. Lo mismo en la pobreza que en la riqueza. Tanto en el dolor, cuanto en la alegría. Hasta que la muerte le separe. Repeat after me, please. For better or for worse. For the better or for worse. Till death do us part. Okay. Till death do us part. You are married now. <laughs> married? Felicidades, señor. Muchas felicidades. You're supposed to kiss the bride. The tree ain't ready yet. Yes, ma'am. And at nine o'clock, down with the whiskers. Yes, ma'am, but it sure is hot. Hot or cold, it's Christmas, so act like it. And you boys, hurry with those decorations. Thank you. Hey, Pedro. A little more sugar in this, and hurry. Then it is long. Harrington's Alley, come in here and put up all this paper and get it. Girl, step on it. We've got to get this place open. like a woman. I don't know why you're so mean to me on Christmas Eve. Who's mean to you? You are. Ah. Oh, no, honey. I was only kidding. Guys, you can sing it any way you want. Well, I know it's no good. Oh, it sounds fine. Have you got a handkerchief? No, you didn't do the wash last week. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I'll do it in the morning. I'll help you. Here, I'll help, too. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Oh, I just love Christmas, don't you? You know we ought to bring Butch over to see Santa Claus. No, nah, Butch is too old for Santa Claus. Well, we haven't had him a year yet. Seems a lot longer than that, doesn't it? What? Oh, no, honey, I mean, it doesn't seem that long, does it? It's just like a man. <laughs> Let me a coat. Now that we're all friends again, could we rehearse the introduction? <laughs> you know, that guy could play chopsticks and make it sound like number one on the hit parade. <laughs> yeah. He's brought more business in here than any ten acts I've had. Yeah. <laughs> I see she's still at the El Greco. I wonder they haven't caught up with her by now. Who? Alvarez. She says, Merry Christmas, and she feels so sorry for us down here. Well, she needn't. How do you like the new number? It's all right. <laughs> you know, you never get a swell head around Murphy, would you? You never get a swell head anyway. You're too smart. Skid belongs to the big time, Mr. Johnson. He belongs on Broadway, and that's where I want to put him. But will he listen to me? Well, certainly he'll listen to you. Well, certainly he'll not listen to me. You mean you offered Skid Johnson a job in New York and he turned it down? I got a spot where he could step right into it. And a honey. 
No, don't worry. He'll take it. Well, why don't you want us to come? Well, now look, honey. The dames are a drug on the market. Uh, Skid, uh, Skid's got something that's different. He's got something that set that town on his ears, see? Sure, sure, I see. Now, if you'll let him go on ahead and kind of get the feel of things, then he can send for you. In the meantime, you can hold on to the job here, and if Skid uh, should draw a blank up there, you'd have something to come back to. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sure, sure, that makes sense. Too good to turn down. But I've got to talk to him. Harry, where's Skid? Well, he's, uh, he just, oh, uh... thanks. Hey, Miguel. What do you have, Skid? He's oh. had. Two. Too many. Oh, but Maggie, this is Christmas. Well, last time was your birthday. You know, the time before that it was Butch's birthday. Pretty soon every day will be a holiday, and then where will we be? Frost closed. Honey, you have to take care of yourself in your condition. What's the matter with my condition? You don't know, but you're about to become a star. I just fixed it. Now, honey, you go over and thank the man and tell him you'll be very proud and happy to go to New York with him. Oh, no. Oh, Skip, but you can send for me in no time at all. It's your chance. you got to take it. Look, Maggie, I've already told the guy I don't want to go to New York. I like it here. Gosh, we're doing all right. We have fun. You want to blow a trumpet of cheap hockey talk all your life? Why not? Well, does it mean anything for you to become a star? You know, go right to the top. All right, I go right to the top. What do I do when I get there? Oh, but honey, you'll be a sensation. You know, really a sensation. I'm a sensation here. Isn't that enough? No. Hey, Murphy. Maggie wants me to go to New York. I couldn't go if I wanted to, could I? Tell her. Why? What's stopping you? See? Well, you, you got a contract with me. Yeah? Well, listen, young man. My contract ain't worth the paper they're written on. My lawyer sees to that. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Murphy. And if I got a spot for you, if I got a spot, the El Greco. You heard of the El Greco? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of the El Greco. Uh, All visitors ashore. All visitors ashore. All visitors ashore. You better take these pills with you, kid. I'd sure laugh at you, too, if I turned out to be a prize flop. This some more supposed to be very good. I am a flop like now. I know. You can always go back in the army. Yeah. I think I'd better get off now, Skid. I'm beginning to get sick. Well, so long, Harry. Bye. You better take the lemon. No, thank you. Gosh, Maggie, I don't know how to say goodbye. I've never said goodbye to you. Oh, we'll never say goodbye, so. Wish I didn't feel like we were making a big mistake. All the shore. Here's the bank, old Skid. Oh, no, I can't take that. Well, why don't we? I don't want you to run short. You know, when you get there and they don't treat you right, then you can walk out. See, darling? All visitors ashore. Oh, I love you so, dear. I love you. All visitors ashore. 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 I'm scared. I'll send for you right away, honey. You'll be all ready. Get packed and everything. All right, darling, I will. Get put some Murphy.
Kid Johnson's magic trumpet will fill the hours echo nightly. You know, we'll have to start a clipping book for him right away. Hmm. He doesn't photograph badly at all. And listen, New York public completely fooled. Get ready to sail in a week. Love, Kid. What do you think of that? Not much. What's he waiting a week for? Well, he has to pay back Georgie, doesn't he? He has to buy some new clothes. You wouldn't want him running around New York in ice cream pants, would you? I wouldn't want him running around New York at all. Maggie, when a car could part of his car. I guess this shows you. Gee, I won't have much time to get ready at all, will I? No. Don't you think it's pretty good he's saving enough money to send for me already? It's a miracle. Yes. Oh, it's from Harvey. He's in New York. Murphy, Harvey seems good and says he's a terrific success. Yeah, I knew he would be. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Skid. We're going to miss the main event. Hey, wait a minute. i got to send the wire. Come on. We've got a big bet on. You can send it later. Well, listen, you remind me to send it after the fight, then. Oh, sure. Come on, everyone. on a monologue, ain't you? What would you do, Murphy? I suppose what you're going to do. Let me the fare. It's 125, ain't it? You sure you want to go up there? Thanks. Cry for help. This town has more broke guys than there were in the army. <laughs> $1,750. Now I can try to the Queen Mary and send for Maggie. Who's Maggie? Don't so give me hundred, will you? See, that's wonderful, yeah. but don't you think that calls for a celebration, Phil? Like party, yeah. Party, yeah. Yeah. Party, party. Somebody gonna meet you here, miss? What? Oh, yes, yes, no thank you. Come on, I paid for it. Hmm? I paid for it. 
Good night. Bye. Is this your room or mine? It's mine. Oh, oh, come on in and have a night, Jeff. Come on, it'll do you good. Come on, sit right here while I get you a drink. Give me the Leland Hotel, please. Leland Hotel, does um, Miss Anita Alvarez live there? Will you please connect me with the room? This is Skid, the one-man army. Who goes there? I say, who goes the one-man army? Who goes there? I say, who goes there? Hello? because, well, now listen and don't laugh. Mary? Oh, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Harry and me, can you imagine? Oh, give him my love. Yes, I will. Well, what's the matter? Are you crying or something? No, no, I'm slappy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you seen Skid? Oh, Skid. Oh. oh, Skid and I are getting a divorce. Oh, I don't know, you know. He's gone a long time, and that's the way it goes, I guess. Oh. Well, you finally got some sense, did you? <laughs> Is Mr. Harvey Howell still registered there? I'd like to speak to him, please. My wife? That's what she said. She called up three times. No, no. My wife in Panama. Letter from her. Probably some girl pulling a gag. Yeah. Oh, 
Last night and the night before and all day. That's all he's been doing, reading that letter. For a week now he's been reading that letter. I say a week's too long to read any letter. It's my letter, isn't it? I guess the guy can read his own letters if he wants to. All right, all right. But the boys that run that place you think you're working are plenty sore. If you don't show up tonight, you're fired. Hey, are you listening to me? You read that a dozen times, too, and it says she's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. No matter how many times you read it, it'll say the same thing. She's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. This would be a sap to go up and say goodbye to her. Better let things ride the way they are, I guess. Better let her alone. That guy, Harvey, couldn't have any kick if I just went up and said goodbye to her. I'm not his wife yet. All I want to do is go up and say goodbye and have a couple of drinks and say goodbye. Come on. Hey, well, what do you want me for? Come on. Bring Tony with you. Oh. Why the French divorce? Aren't our divorces good enough for you? Well, Harvey's attorney arranged it that way. Have you told the kid? I wrote him. How'd you take it? I haven't heard from him. The kid never was much of a hand for writing letters. He never was much of a hand at anything. He does play a bad trumpet. How long did these French divorces take? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it'd be kind of fun in Paris. I've never been there before. I was there once with my first husband. My first husband. Hey, Maggie! Hey, that's good. Let him wrap. You're not in. Well, there's no sense in being unfriendly. Now, you just keep on picking him up and dusting him off every time he falls down, and the first thing you know, you get Harvey sore. I know, but he might be in trouble or something. <laughs> Maggie! How's that for an entrance? Fine. How are you, kids? You're looking swell. Oh, say, this is Georgie Herman, my agent. You remember him. Oh, yes. Johnson, glad to see you. And uh, this is Tony Riley. I keep him around just for laughs. Laugh, Tony. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> That's enough, Tony. Plenty. Oh, the same old Ella. How are you, Ella? Glad to see you. How are you, Harry? Glad to see you, Skid. Say, this looks like old home we can find about, doesn't it? Harry, you're looking awful well. Is anything wrong? Ella and I got married. No. <laughs> well, I guess the guy that said there was one born every minute was right, huh, Tony? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Daddy. Don't be bitter, Ella. Shall I serve them, sir? No, thanks. I'm an old bartender from way back. Thank you, sir. Don't work your hands on. Maybe one of these days you'll be in the door like I am. Thank you, sir. Say, it's a good thing I brought up these drinks. We, we got some celebrating to do. There's yours, gorgeous. No, thanks. Oh, come on, come on. This is kid's going away party for Maggie. <laughs> By the way, I... Uh, got your valentine. Why didn't you come up alone? Oh, I couldn't shake these guys. They've been with me since last night. Last night? I haven't looked a bed in the face for a week. King of the nightclubs now, huh? Well, I've got to let the people see me, don't I? Might you get the black eye? I want my knee taken by Who's the knee? You ought to see the other fellow, Mrs. Johnson. No, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you quit riding me. I'm doing all right, ain't I? Certainly are. Your two weeks' notice is written on every bottle of scotch in town. Hey, lay off. You've got a new guy to worry about now. You stepping off pretty soon? Well, I've got to get a divorce first, don't I? Yeah, that's right. So you've been crying. Well, I have not. Don't kid me, I've seen you cry too often. If that's for me, don't put too much water in it. Okay, sweetheart, how's this for you? You'll have to play for yours, Professor. Well, it won't be the first time. You tell me, come on, play like fast and 40. So you used to be a professor, huh? Right on for dear old Redland Conservatory of Music. Remember that, Maggie? Yes, I remember. What's the matter, kid? Nothing, I was just thinking we had fun riding it, that was all. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Boy, we used to allow him in Panama with that number, didn't we, Georgie? Hey! Hmm. Say, remember when I pawned my trumpet, you had to borrow that. Say, did we ever pay that five bucks back to Murphy? Murphy, he's who? Well, she ran the joint in Panama where we used to work. She, she's Butch's mother now. Butch is our chicken. Say, he'd have died. This chicken tried to murder Harry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A chicken tried to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he got attacked by a bed once, too. Oh, gee, you look silly. You see, I set the house on fire, and you know what these two did? They got the bed stuck in the door, and they went to sleep. <laughs> she wanted goats. I never could figure that out. Goats? And any goats in a house. 
Yeah. yeah. Hey, boy, was that a night? Maggie took off her hat to you when you took off her hat and got about... jail, and you know, you know, he had to make a noise like a boat to get Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make a noise like a boat to get Well, the judge was Spanish, see, and she wanted to catch a boat, and I forgot the word for a boat, so I was trying to show him like this. Having a party, Maggie? No, no, come in, Harvey. Hello, Mr. Howell. Hello, Ella. How are you, Howell? Hello, kid. Boys, this is Mr. Howell. He's an old cow hand from way out west. How are you, Mr. Howell? Glad to meet you. The only pal of skids is a pal of mine. Harvey, you know Harry. Well, certainly. We were witnesses at Skid's wedding, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. That was some wedding. We didn't even know what the guy was talking about. Maybe we weren't even married. Maybe you two are going to a lot of trouble for nothing. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Well, how do you have a drink for you? Thanks. Well, there's no sense in us standing around like this, is there? I know, no. I don't want to spoil anything for you. It sounded very gay in here to me when I came in. Why don't you go on with the music? Why, surely, Mr. Howell. Say, Harry. Yeah, play something. Yeah, come on, play something, Harry. Mr. Howell doesn't want to spoil anything for us. Come on, beautiful. How about you giving out with a song? No, I... What would you like to hear sing, folks? What would you like to hear sing, Mr. Howell? I think Maggie knows what my favorite song is. No, yeah, I guess you ought to know what your favorite song is. Go on, sing it for her. No, I don't want to sing that. What's the matter? You're going to be coaxed. You're not going coy on this, are you? No, I'm not going coy. I'll sing it. Celebrating a wedding. We ought to be happy and gay. I ought to be giving the bride away. Get stop it. Why? Who's got a better right to give the bride away? It shows there's no hard feelings. Why do people have to be sore when they lose out in marriage? Why can't they join in the festivities? Come on, Harry, play the wedding march. Play it fast and hot. This is a hot wedding. Come on, Harry, play it.
No, no. Hello, Tony. Oh, hello, Skid. Hey, uh, you haven't got any old jobs laying around, have you? Skid, I told you before, I got the nice people here. I can't have drunk, you know that. Hey, wait a minute. Now, this is the last time, huh? Now, take care of yourself. Thanks. Oh, you remember him? That's the Skid Johnson. Sure. You suck me on the skids now. The skid of the skid. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes, please. Oh, there's one for you, too. No, never mind. Well, goodbye, Tony. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you pretty soon. Oh, hello. How are you, Professor? A <laughs> uh, booking agent told me I might find Skid Johnson here. Well, he was here about three minutes ago, but he went out. Oh, you wouldn't have any idea where he went? Well, I have no idea. No, no, oh, thank you. It used to get my wife's nanny. She couldn't take it. I used to say it just to tease her. Say what? Honey, I can always get back in the army. But you can't. You know, I never thought I'd... What did you say? We can't use you. You're all shot. Better put your clothes on, son. You're pretty shaky. Hey, watch it. Hey, Skid. Hello, oh, Harry. Skid, I've been looking all over town for you. Hey, you're looking fine. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Skid, I got a proposition. Oh, thanks. I got to see you. Oh, I know, but first I got a proposition. Come on, get in with me, Skid. We got a mighty sweet little swing band there on me. We're playing in towns in Long Island, New Jersey. We're in Long Island tonight. That's where you and I are going now. Oh, you can't get out here, Skid. We're on the bridge. We're crossing the river. I had a last minute hunch to come in town and look for you. So the band's giving a radio audition tonight. I thought maybe you could jump in and help us out. Oh, sure you can, Skid. Uh, you must be going nuts. Oh, when you think I can get a band like yours by through to a sponsor? You know what this chance means to you and Ella? Well, you said a name. I meant a name somebody remembers. Oh, I remembered it. I worked my head off for a radio spot. I get a big sponsor all steamed up. I get it all set to pipe the band through to New York. And then what do I hear? Well, uh... Johnson's cockeyed all the time. Oh, you said that before. Now, listen. I'm putting that program through tonight, hot or cold. And do we have to go through with it? Sure, we'll have to go ahead with it. It's too late to call it off now. It's your funeral, not mine. I can always sell another band. I know when Mrs. Skid Johnson's stopping. And move, I gotta get in touch with her before she gets out of town. You gotta help me, Mrs. Johnson. You could always do anything with Skid, and this is his last chance. Oh, Skid ain't a bad guy, Mrs. Johnson. I sort of figured maybe he just rolled You figured wrong. Sure. Well, you can't rule me out for trying. Skip it. Gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to the coast tonight. I'm gonna be married as soon as I get there. Good for you. I guess just well just to forget all about Skid. I guess he's just no good. Seems kind of too bad, though. The kid's got a lot of talent. Well, but then if he goes on his face, it ain't your funeral, is it? Well, goodbye, Miss Johnson. Good luck. And a lot of happiness. Thanks.
think he'll ever make it. The broadcast isn't until 10 o'clock. He's out like a light. Come on, let's get some stuff. Maggie! Oh, hello, Ella. Well, how did you get here? No, don't tell me. I know, and I'll wring his neck. Harry, you had no No, business. no, no, Georgie told me. Oh, where is he, Ella? You remember those emergencies I told you about? Mm. Broadcast at 10 o'clock. Is she still there? You see her, Ella? Sure, I see her, Skip. Oh, no, kid me. I've been seeing things lately. I wouldn't kid you. Hello, Skid. Hello, kid. He's looking look at you. You're looking swell. Oh, I'm glad to see you, Skid. Let's have a drink, huh? Yeah, that's all you need. You're not ashamed of me, are you, Maggie? No, Skip. You're not going to ride me, are you? Oh, I'm not going to ride you. <laughs> you know something? I can't get back in the army. Well, you don't have to now. Oh, you're going to be a big hit tonight. Only oh, you got to put yourself together, Skid. Look, look, you know, they're going to be listening in in New York at 10 o'clock. Who's that? I don't think I can make it. Oh, sure you can make it. You've got to, Skid. Why, without you, Ella and Harry, they're sunken. You know, they've been good friends of ours. You can't walk out on them now. I'm all shot. Oh, you can come out of it. You think I can? Oh, I know, son. Yeah, I did think I was pretty good, didn't you? Are you out, right, Skid? It was bad. Oh, gee, Maggie. <laughs> Oh, you'll be all right, soldier. You'll be all right. You gotta be all right, soldier. <laughs> We're broadcasting from the Harmony Dance Hall, the brightest night spot outside the city of New York. There it is now. We have a surprise for you tonight, friends. Of course, you all remember Skip Johnson and his magic trumpet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. They're back together again, folks. They're back together again right here. And Skip's going to play for you most any minute now. He's doing a grand comeback. He's climbing right back up on top of the heap again. Better than ever. Come on, let's give Skip a hand. <laughs> That's probably somebody clowning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you 
No, no, I, I can't do it. Yes, you can, darling. Put your arms around me like you used to. Oh, but I can't do it, Maggie. Yes, you can, dear. Lean on me. Lean on me. When you blow that horn, you thrill me to the marrow of my bones. You chill me. Play, honey, play. There it goes. I hear a call to all. Best of us part. Yeah, better for me and worse for you. That's all right with me, darling. 